Before going ahead, let us see one experiment. Okay. If I take an aluminum rod, one solenoid is prepared. That means one copper coil is wound on this. Now this copper coil, this end is attached to the battery. This is attached to the stand. This is the horseshoe magnet. You know, the magnet of this shape. Of this shape. This is called as the horseshoe magnet. Now this magnet is placed like this. Is placed like this. And this conductor, this aluminum rod is like this. Is floating here like this. Of course, this rod is attached to the coil and from this end it is to the attached to the battery. Okay. Now, as soon as the circuit is completed, the electric current flows, what will happen? This rod will deflect because the magnetism is produced in this, induced in this. As this horseshoe magnet is fixed, this cannot be deflected. This is fixed. And so this rod will be deflected. So it will be deflected towards right. And if you reverse the current, it will be deflected towards left. Okay. So this is how the direction of the current and direction of the magnetic field is also considered. So this was shown in your activity 5.7. This is what they are shown in the activity. You can see the figure in the book itself. Just now we have seen the activity 5.7 in which we have seen one horseshoe magnet and one aluminum rod was there or on which one coil is wounded. This rod was free to move in this field, in this horseshoe magnet. It is free to move like this. What will happen? As soon as the current starts, this will get deflected. This induced magnetism is exerting some force on this magnet. And because this magnet is fixed, this rod will deflect it. If you try, if you modify the experiment in such a way that this rod is fixed, then this magnet will deflect. And if both are not fixed, if both are able to move, in that case, both will get deflected. That means this induced magnetism exerts some force on the magnet placed in the vicinity nearby or the magnetic material placed nearby. Okay. But if both are moving, then both will deflect. That means both are applying the force to each other. The French scientist Andre Ampere suggested that as this magnetic field is exerting some force on the magnet, this magnet is also exerting equal and opposite force to this rod. You know the Newton law? There is always action to reaction. The forces are equal and opposite in direction. Okay. Now this direction of force depend on the direction of current and direction of magnetic field. Whenever this direction of current and direction of magnetic field are right angle to each other, are perpendicular to each other, in that case the deflection is maximum. That means the maximum force is exerted whenever the magnetic field direction and current direction are at right angles to each other.